Okay, so there are three ways to load money quickly into your Power On Network back office because typically with bank wire, it's going to take four, five, seven days. And so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do the bank wire. I'm going to show you how that can be done immediately. I'm going to show you how to um, um, use your credit debit card in the Power On wallet. And I'm going to show you how to use Bitcoin at poweronnetwork.co because we don't want to use poweronwallet.com for Bitcoin. Here's why. They have that capability, but they're going to charge you anywhere between 5 and 6%. It's just going to be a 1% fee. Ching. Okay. So now let's start with the bank wire. We're going to start with the bank wire. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, all of you who are already in, poweronnetwork.biz. Poweronnetwork.biz is where you manage your team. It's where you uh, manage your money. And this is your back office for your business. Poweronnetwork.biz. Write that down. Now, many of you already know, but some of you don't. Um, let me take a look here. Yes, I'm still recording. Great. Now I have to edit this. Now, so we have that. You're going to go log in. This is what you're going to see. And you see here where it says Power Shop and Power Vouchers at the top, okay? So those are important. But right now, we're just going to look at Power Shop. So when you click on Power Shop, what happens is this pull-down list comes up, and you see where you can buy vouchers or you can buy plans. Click on Plans. You're not going to buy a plan, and I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Pay attention. Now, the first thing, when you click on those power plans, read, read, read. That's what the words are for, okay? Read it. Read their policy. Make sure you understand their policy in terms of refunds, in terms of everything, because you're agreeing to these policies, okay? I just, I just like it when people read. Now, let's say, for example, I want to put in about 8,000 euros. That, that, bear with me because I got some buddies who gave me some money and they want to get in too. And I've got some other friends who want to. Okay. So here's what you do. Yes. I'm going to click on the 199. Uh-huh. I agree to the terms govern my purchase. Uh-huh. Pay attention. I could put 8,000 in here. I could put 500 in here. I could put 200 in here. I could put whatever I want. So watch this. Proceed to checkout. When I proceed to checkout, pay attention. It says unit price 199 euros because they think I'm going to buy a power plan, just one of them. Pay with your current account? No, because I don't have any money in this account. So you click on deposit funds over here on the far right, okay? So you say deposit funds. Then you get this page, account loading via a bank transfer. Here is where you can put whatever you want in the amount. Check that out. I can put in 199, I can put in 5,000, I can put in 8,000, whatever you want, okay? And what the company is going to do, they're not going to activate your account. They're not going to give you any vouchers. They're not going to do any of that. They're going to throw that money in your back office. That's what they're going to do. And then you can buy these power vouchers for your team if you need to do so or for your additional business centers because you can have multiple positions or business centers. But they're just going to give you the money and let you deal with it how you want to. How about that? And so when I go here, I'm going to say I want 8,000, okay? So I'm going to wire them 8,000 euros. Got to wire in euros only. That's how you do a bank transfer. When I put in my 8,000, I click on submit. You will see on the next page, they're saying your loading amount is 8,000 euros. The loading fee is 10 euros. Yes, every time you load money into your back office, the loading fee is 10 euros. And yeah, that's reasonable to me. Wire transfer amount. They give you the wire transfer amount of 8,000 and 10 euros. Yours could be 199. It doesn't matter, but they're going to add 10 euros to it. Send their last name. This is the last name on this account, the number one. But it'll be your last name. Send the first name. You're going to have your address, your city, your zip, and everything in your back office, okay? Um, right now, for United States, when you sign up, they're in the process of putting United States in that pull-down menu. Meanwhile, all of us from the States will choose in Canada. So don't worry about it. They're going to fix all of that for us. So now what you're going to do, you're going to complete your bank wire account loading by clicking the register bank wire button. Okay, you're going to mark your payment clearly with your unique transaction ID assigned to your payment. But they made it so much easier. So you're going to click on register bank transfer. And so when you go there, they're going to say, here's the date. 
December 28th. Here's your transaction ID. That's the only thing that freaking matters, the transaction ID. You don't have to write it down. Hold on to your horses. I'm going to show you. And every time you do an account loading, you get a different transaction ID. So it's not going to be the same. Every time you do an account loading, you get a different transaction ID. So never reuse a form. So the amount is 8,010 euros. The status is pending. Their bank is Malayan Bank in Berhad, okay? And they have print instructions. Guess what happens? Print instructions. I click there, and what they're going to do, they're going to download a file to your computer through your browser. You open that baby up. It's a PDF. You open that baby up, and you copy this, or you, you um, copy it to your phone, or you print it out and walk into that bank. Here, I want a bank wire, and here are the specifications. Okay, that's all you need to do. Give them that. So the account name is Global Power Party LTD. Country is Singapore. Bank name, bank address, bank country, euros, account number, your account number. You see that? Okay, that's what this, the banker knows what to do with all of this. You don't have to know anything. The SWIFT code, that is there too. The currency, euros only. And many of you guys, your money is in UK pounds or your money is British pounds, your money in USD in your bank. Your bank is going to do the conversion. Don't sweat it. So you're going to send 8,010 euros to the Singapore bank for power and network. Don't worry about the conversion. That woman who's sitting behind that desk, she's going to tell you exactly what you're going to give her. And, if, and you're going to pay the bank wire fee. I know typically it's around $40 or so. Um, could be more depending upon who you're banking with. And then a small conversion fee, which is not even much at all. You know, not even much at all because a dollar is almost the same as the euros. But you see here, note to the beneficiary receiver. Don't go in there telling them to put in PP1, my name is Jane Doe, blah, blah, blah. Don't do any of that. Here is the note. And it's here. W-393-228 or whatever the, um, the number of that transaction is. It'll come out on the PDF that you downloaded. You don't have to do anything. And it's going to say purchase digital online package. All you have to do is give this piece of paper to the bank lady or to the bank man they process the wire. You review that document they have. They want to make sure that it's all right. You say it's a go, and you sit there, and they're going to give you a piece of paper, have you sign it. It's done. Once you have it done, write this down. You want to send, because it's going to take five to seven days if you don't do what I'm saying right now. So pay attention so it can be immediate. Once you have that done, you're going to send Lynette. L-Y-N-S and Nancy, write this down, Laura, L-Y-N-S and Nancy, E-T-S and Tom, T-S and Tom, E, at CFFbrand.com, you're going to send a copy of the approved official bank wire form that came from your bank. That's the only thing that's acceptable, not the bank reference number written down on a piece of paper, not something you send through a mobile phone that just say my number is ABC, W, blah. No, you're going to get that official form. You're going to um, um, upload it, attach it as an attachment to an email to Lynette at CFFbrand.com. What we do with that, we get the corporate, hey, here's the forms. Give them their money. And you're going to find within no time flat, the money is going to be in your Power on network dot biz back office. How about that for fast? Now, there are those people who ask the question, how do we use our credit debit card? You cannot go into power on network dot biz and use a credit debit card or Bitcoin for that matter. So I'm going to show you what you're going to do. All of you are going to go over to power on wallet dot com. And Power on Wallet is the same thing as globalunbank.net. It's the same thing as what they call Olay Pay. It's all semantic, but they're the same thing. You're going to go there. And once you sign up, you're going to get an email congratulating you for signing up for Global Unbanked. Okay? That's Power on Wallet. So once you sign up for the wallet, and here's the recommendation um, from the master distributor, Morocco. He says, when you sign up for Power Network, Sign up with the same username that you're using on Power On. When you sign up for Power On Wallet, sign up with the same username you're using in Power On Network, dot biz, 
and use the same email address, the same username. For those of you who already have an account, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But here going forward, explain to everyone just to do that to make life easy for these guys, just in case something falls through the cracks. So now that you're signed up and you've um, approved your email, you're going to log into your back office. And you see, you, this is your dashboard. Load money, account activity, messages, transfer money, blah, blah, this. On the left-hand side, load money, transfer money, withdraw money, um, account activity, my account, my cards. My cards is something totally different when you buy a debit card, so don't worry about that. You're going to go to my profile, guys. But first of all, I wanted you to read some email. Let me go back. You see here it said messages. I have one message. And I want to know what the message is. You got this message in your email, but all of the messages and emails that they send is also in your back office of globalunbank.net, which is poweronwallet.com. They give you a key code card, a PDF. Keep that in a safe place because you need those key codes. And we'll talk about that later. Okay, you need those key codes to perform transactions. Talk about that later. Now, what you're also going to do, you're going to go to my profile. Pay attention. You got to get KYC verified first. In order to get KYC verified, the most basic of the basic, you click on my profile and click on KYC. KYC means um, know your customer. All financial um, institutes and payment processors, they need to know who you are to make sure you're not selling any illegal goods or anything or um, um, laundering money or anything. So this is just the law. So they got to get your ID and who you are. So you click on KYC, okay? And when you cl click on KYC, you'll see at the top, no open request, no pending request, no approved request, no decline request, no expired documents. And I didn't use to upload multiple documents at once here because it didn't work for me. You see right here where it says select files. You're going to start uploading your ID in the state where you live or whatever you use in your country and you're gonna or or you're gonna upload your passport if you have a passport I find that easier to do so you're gonna click on select files a pop-up box come up um, I take pictures of all of my stuff and I keep it on my phone or and I keep it on my computer and then I select driver's license or I select passport so once I've done that you'll see at the bottom Debit card, passport. I got a picture of myself, my debit card, my passport in my hand. You don't have to be extreme like me. Just give me your passport or your ID. It's going to say status pending. Then um, I uploaded a utility bill because I'm just anal and I don't want any mistakes made. So I want to give them all the information that they need. But that's not necessary for you to be KYC. I also uploaded my credit debit card front and my credit debit card back. If you're not going to use credit debit cards, you don't have to. If you're not going to use the bank wire through here or any bank and getting money sent to your bank, you don't have to do that here, okay, until you're ready to do it. But you know you're going to get um, get paid through Power On Network, right? So you're going to find a way where you're going to get paid and be able to withdraw from your Power On wallet. So how are you going to do that? You can buy a card here and power on wallet for $9.99. I purchased mine. I'm waiting for it to come in. But there's many things you can do. But the only thing you need right now is your passport or your ID. Okay? And if you're anal, put some more stuff in there. So that's what happens. When you come back and you log in, you'll see within 12 to 24 hours that they've either been approved or rejected. But the process now is very, very fast, 12 to 24 hours. So they'll tell you, approved documents for all of my documents have been approved. I didn't do anything special, but upload them. And I made sure that they were readable. I didn't crop them or anything. I didn't edit the graphic file. I just uploaded them. That's all you need to do. Now that you are KYC verified, how do I pay with my credit debit card? Okay. So what you're going to do, you, you see at the top here, credit debit card. So you see user details, addresses, security, KYC. We just didn't know you're a customer. Bank details. If you want to do bank details now, you can. You don't have to. We're talking about credit debit cards. So you click on credit debit card. And what they're going to do, actually, what I clicked on was user details. Sorry about that. Make sure you complete your user details. You know, make sure they're correct. Make sure your name is right. Use the same name here that you're using over there on Power On Network. That biz. Use the same name, okay? That, you know, just be consistent. Don't have two names. They're going to ask questions. Um, now you go to credit debit cards. And you click on this little thing here. It says add credit debit card. You click on that. And what's going to show up, 
is your credit debit card's details. So you put in your card number here, the name on the card is going to be here, and I believe that the name on the card, they're gonna either get that from your profile or I think they're gonna allow you to put it in. Go check it out. Your three digit CSC or CWW code, CW or CVV code, you put that in there, it's a three digit code. The expiration date of your card, month, month, year, 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 year. The currency in which you would like to verify your credit or debit card, because what they're going to do is they're going to send 84 cents or 13 cents or some small amount. They're going to deduct it from your bank account that you have associated with your debit card, or they're going to deduct it from your credit card. You better go online or call your bank or whatever, however you do things, and ask what that last transaction was. Okay, if it's 84 cents, if it's 13 cents, what have you, that is the number. So then your billing details shows up automatically, okay, and then you're going to save. Now, once you've saved, it's going to say validate, look at this, validate card with debited amount. That's when you go to your bank account, log into your online bank account. And so, for example, if you see 84 cents, I tried this today, I saw 84 cents. And I entered it, and it says invalid um, verification um, amount. I'm like, but I'm looking at it in my back office, 84 cents. I tried it again, I tried it again, it kicked me out. You can only do it three times. I talked with the owner again. What's up with this? He said, it is a round off issue. He said, Faith, use 83. So if it's 84 cents that you have in your back office, and they reject it, Put in 0.83. If it's 13 cents that they've taken out of your bank account, use 0.12. If it's 8 cents, 0.08, use 0.07. Okay, you only get three tries. But he says it's a roundup error type thing. I'm like, well, fix it. But I just want to let you know so you don't have to contact us when you encounter this problem. It's just round it down or round it up. So that's it. And once you've done that, you're going to click on this. It says validate card with debit and amount. A box is going to pop up. You're going to put 0.83 in there or whatever that number is. You're going to put that in the box. And then automatically, just wait. Wait about three seconds, four seconds. And they're going to approve your card. Okay? They're going to approve your card. So then what you want to do, you want to click on the left on load money. Now that you've got your card verified and approved, you're already KYC verified, you're going to click on load money. So when you click on load money, this is where you come to. And we're only going to be concerned right now is with Visa or MasterCard. That's all I want you to pay attention to. If you are from Asia, from China, we've got union pay transfer for you too. Okay? Do not do Bitcoin here again. Do not do Bitcoin and power on wallet because they're going to charge you 5 to 6% fee. Hold on, that's the next um, slide I'm going to show you. So when you click on MasterCard or Visa, it's going to show you, it's going to say from credit or debit card, it's going to say to global unbanked account, and you just leave that as is, you don't need to change it, global unbanked account balance, whatever you uploaded, whatever you loaded, um, um, now that's just your balance, I'm sorry, that's just your balance, this is my first time giving this presentation, so bear with me, you put in, that you put in your three digit code right here that's on your credit card and the amount that you want to transfer amount you want to transfer from your debit card now here are the specification look at your transactions limits 500 usd or euros is the maximum transaction amount but you can actually have five i think five of these transactions a day per 24 hours so you can do 500 500 500 500. But I'm going to tell you, if you're doing four or five hundreds, your bank is going to be really, really concerned wondering what you're doing. Just pick up the phone and say, let it through, guys. Let it through. So you got to call your bank. Let it through if you encounter that problem. Okay? So you can do 500, what you're going to put in the amount to transfer. Now you're ready to rock and roll. Then you click on transfer. And once you click on transfer, the money is going to be loaded into your back office. That's it. That's it. The money's going to be loaded to your back office. Oops, I missed the slide. I missed the slide. I'm going to add that tomorrow. Now what you're going to do, you're going to click on transfer money because you got to give it to Power On Network, right? All you did is just put the money in your wallet back here in the um, Power On wallet. But, but you got to give it to XE Coin. You got to give it to, I mean, Power On Network. So you're going to quit, click on transfer money. And when you click on transfer money, previous, when you click on transfer money, you're going to get a screen. It's going to say transfer to whom, 
write this down. Now wait, write this down. You're gonna transfer the money to XE coin. When they ask you what user do you want to transfer the money to, it's going to be XE coin. That's Power on Network, Power on Network corporate account. And they look in their wallet every so often to see whether indeed they have any money or any, any requests there. Once they look in there, they says, oh, okay, this is from Jane. We would throw some money in Jane's back office in Power on Network. And when you send this money, I'm sorry I don't have that slide, I just missed one slide. When you send that money, there is a description or a note box on that very same page. I want you to put there PP, I'm, I'm sorry, I want you to put there your username, write this down, your username in Power on Network. So if your username is Jane Doe, put Jane Doe. Not your real name, not your legal name, your username in the business. Put that there. Put your email address as it is in the business. Put it in there. And then please put this money, deposit this money in my power on network.biz account. And so when you wake up, you'll see that money in your account. You're like, yes. And then you can go to your power on network biz and you can buy power plans. You can buy vouchers and help out your team, etc. Okay? And I'm going to spruce this presentation up. This is my first time getting it together. Now, how are you going to load money to Power One Network back office without having to pay 6% that Power One Wallet is going to charge you? Power, write this down. Power on Network .co, not C-O-M, Power on Network .co. If you've got Bitcoin, you want to use your Bitcoin, this is what you're going to see. They're gonna, you're gonna enter the username of the account to re receive the cash. That's you. So if your username and power on network is Jane Doe, you put that in here. If your username is White Rabbit, you put that in here. That's the username you want power on network to send the cash and your back office of power on network .biz. You put your email address exactly as it is in power on network .biz. Follow me? You're going to select the package you want, the 199, you know, PP1, PP2, PP3, all the way up to PP89, whatever it is. Once you've done that, I'm going to show you how that looks. See, Jane Doe is the username. Jane Doe at janedoe.com is the email address I have registered over at powernetwork.biz. Okay? And I want the 199 euros package. I submit. When I submit, this is what you're going to see, guys. Here, user Jane Doe. That would be your username in Power on Network .biz. Email Jane Doe at Jane Doe .com. That would be your email address in Power on Network .biz. Requested package, 199 euros. There you go. Okay, but you got to buy transaction ID. Here's the transaction ID. Don't worry about it. Everything is here. Now, for those of you who have Bitcoin, that means you have a Bitcoin wallet. So I'm not going over what is a Bitcoin wallet. So all you need to do. Let's take your phone, access your Bitcoin wallet. I use my now. You're going to take a picture, okay? You're, you're going to open up. It's going to take a picture of that OCR code. You see that funny looking code with those crazy characters, that square? And then it knows exactly it's going to say you're going to send 0.22549 Bitcoin to this address on your phone. That's what it's going to say. Um, and you're going to say yes. And within about six confirmations, because that's how much it takes for Bitcoin to confirm, about six confirmations, it can be from 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, sometimes five minutes. And once it's all confirmed, that's when Power and Network will see it and they've got the buckaroos, okay? That's it, that's it. And then Power and Network is gonna put the money in your power on network.biz back office. They're gonna put the cash back there. But I believe in this case, yeah, they're gonna put the cash back there. I don't think they're gonna purchase your package but I'm not sure of that. But you'll see when you get in your back office, when you do that. And that's it. Those who know Bitcoin knows how to do that. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. So come with the questions. And the when you just showed right there paying with the Bitcoin, is there a fee to do it that way? Or do they 1%. just pay the $10? 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%,